Millions of Americans will soon test themselves for COVID-19 with government-supplied at-home rapid tests. Results are quick. Still, health experts warn the tests are not 100%. The test performs best when you've had symptoms for at least 24 hours. A rapid test looks for viral particles, where a PCR test detects the virus itself and is sent to a lab. Nine health expert Dr. Pyle Coley says if you're asymptomatic, rapid tests may provide a false negative. You have very little virus around. In other words, you're very early in your infection where the virus really hasn't started to amplify, that test can come out negative. A false negative can also happen on a rapid test when samples are not collected properly. So here's how to do it. What you really want to do is make sure almost the entire length of the Q-tip is within your nose, at least a half an inch into your nose, and then you want to draw a nice big circle. So Dr. Coley like recommends swabbing each nostril for 15 seconds and avoiding any sample contamination. Some of the at-home rapid tests have an overall sensitivity of about 85%, meaning you still could be infected and the test doesn't pick up the virus. Swab yourself before you go see grandma. You can check and see if you might have enough virus to turn positive, but if it's negative, just don't hang your hat on that because, again, there's a small chance you could still be positive, but just the test is not yet positive. John Glasgow, 9 News. Now, Dr. Coley says rapid tests are best for flagging people who have high viral loads and who are most likely to be actively transmitting the virus to others.